the king. Dracarys. What's up, Hello Sword? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing on with our Clone Wars reaction videos. And we are uh, we're going to continue here in season four with episode nineteen, uh, which kind of finishes off the uh, the season here uh, in this four episode, uh, almost like mini two little mini arcs together. Uh, and this episode is, is titled Massacre, and we see the return of Asajj Ventress and also Count Dooku. So we we kind of get like the uh, the continuation of what we saw back in season three um, with these two characters, kind of uh, you know kind of going at it. Um, after Dooku released her from being his apprentice. Um, so don't forget to uh, yeah hit that like, subscribe to our channels if you haven't. If you're enjoying these uh, Clone Wars uh, reaction videos, you can also check me out on Patreon where you can see the entire uh, episodes each week um, unedited. And uh, yeah, so those are for uh, Patreon members only. All right, Ryan, you ready to roll? Hell yeah, let's do this. All right, here we go. I think you're gonna enjoy these next four episodes because this is uh, this is primo stuff right here. Do, 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 do. One must let go of the past to hold on to the future. Sinister forces on the move. So this is a little recap of what we watched last time. Love that dude. She mm. now has... Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Who's better, Darth Maul or Savage Opress? I want to know what you guys think. Yeah, so she's coming back after failing. Yeah, yeah, she failed to kill Dooku. Yep. He just somehow got away, like they always do. <laughs> oh, gotta face Mother. Sister. Mother Tal. Mother Talsa. Talsa. Yeah, no, Mother Talsa. Yeah. Talsa. Yes. Talsa. I think it's Talsa. Reevaluating. I suspected as much. Savage, that monster we created has forsaken us. He refused my guidance and escaped into the galaxy. I really like the voice actor for... You have your breath. For, yeah, I forget her name. Not not this one, the other one. Oh, Asajj? Ventress. Yeah. You need to survive. You must give up the ways of the Sith and return to our fold. You will leave Dooku's absurd war behind and remain with us, no longer to be ordered about. You will be loyal to no one but your sisters and yourself. Yeah. And she's so that's a lame cop out. And then well, she's so hellbent on revenge. I mean, that's the problem. She wants to be more than just a nice sister. She wants to be something different. Yep. I just hope that because I don't know of her in the movie movies that she doesn't die because I really like her, and I, I I have no idea what happens with her story. So, and wipe the witches out. All oh, <laughs> their illusions do not wipe them out. All of them. Yes, master. Oh, 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 night sisters versus metal droids. Okay. Oh, I wonder if she's going to see the mythosaur down there. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, give me Jedi powers. Do you up? It's always gotta be some kind of cult. Right? Interesting. That's that Star Wars magic right there. Yeah. They're supposed to bring that into Ahsoka. We'll see. Yay! The the guy speaking behind her is really off putting. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. I know we were talking about that last time. Joy fighters, scatter! I thought she gave up her Sith ways. The lightsaber is the weapon of a Jedi or a Sith, so... Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I like Grievous. The Grievous is more intimidating in this series than he was in Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, yeah, they very... It very much comes across like he was underutilized. Oh, they were on them. Naboo. Naboo, that's correct. That's an advantage. Exactly, they're just machines. Turn the Wi-Fi off and they might just stop. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's two times now I've seen her use her old ways. When she was supposed to give them up. I know she's, you know, how else is she supposed to save them? She's trained out, but... 
all this crazy Voldemort stuff that she's about to do. <laughs> crazy Voldemort stuff. <laughs> I will speak with old Daka. She will get us the reinforcements we need. Attack! Exactly, they're just clunks of metal, just slice through them. Do we have the high ground now? Yes. Why don't you already have this small thing on you? So what's doesn't... this? She going to a different world? I, I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be hurrying. No sense of urgency here. Oh, so she's friends with Aragorn. From Lord of the Rings, he had the undead army. Is this still Star Wars? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, dude. This is like, this is that magic. Changes up some stuff, you know? Because you figure Jedi and the Force and, you know, the Sith is something totally different. Bringing all these dead guys back. All the dead sisters just hanging oh, around in sacks. This is Walking Dead versus Star Wars now. Look at this guy. Oh, nice. This is like what if zombies. They remind me of the enemies that you fight in Sea of Thieves. If anybody's played Sea of Thieves, you'll know the, the, the similarity I'm, I'm referencing. A crazy little weapon there. Yeah. So the army of the dead, can it can't even be shot then, right? I mean, I guess he was shooting in the head, or I don't know. Where's these two against Vader and Palpatine? So we got a little voodoo action going or something right now. No. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a voodoo doll, dude. <laughs> oh. So why don't they just chop his head off? The voodoo I, doll. I mean, you would think that would be easier. You'd save so much money as well. You wouldn't have to pay everybody another hour's work. <laughs> God, those battle droids were so useless. Oh, this would be good. Surprised. If you win, the night. Jon Snow, Ramsey Bolton. Same conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he's cheating with four. Jesus. So he's probably going to call him back. Very interesting. You're nothing, a scavenger girl. I am all the set. That's cheating, bro. It's supposed to be just the two of you fighting. Ooh, oh, no. Yeah, she did. Okay. <laughs> But she just walked into that rock thing, so they're not going to be able to find her. Dude, I really don't remember what happens. I don't know if Grievous kills her or what. I mean, something's got to happen. I mean, we obviously know he doesn't die. Yeah. Well, he got there pretty quickly, though. He did, yeah, to say he only marched. No defenses to do this, just, like, walk straight in. Oh! Oh! They killed both of them. Uh. What the hell? They're done. So much for that magic stuff. Oh no, both mother tells her get. It. Oh, she, she turned into a and got out of there. So she escaped though. Yeah, it looked like it. But the the old. The old woman that she was doing the magic, she's dead. Yeah. Oh, it was alright when you wanted me to join you, bloody cult. You can't leave me here! Well, she just did. Wow. That was a I, hard um, hitting episode. It's it's funny, dude. I, I totally forgot about all that in that episode. Like I I knew Ventress and Dooku continued, but I, I totally forgot about all the magic in that. Again, you know, it's it's when you don't watch something like that for like a decade almost, it's yeah. just like yeah. you know. I mean, maybe not a decade, but still. Yeah, all right, man. Uh, let us know in the comments. What do you think about that? Fantastic episode. Um, Loved it. And I'm pretty sure it continues in the next one as well that you can find on uh, Ryan's channel uh, here on uh, this coming Saturday. So, all right, guys. Um, smash that like. We're out of here. We'll see you guys in the next reaction. And uh, don't forget, keep those up.